All of this is not the fault of the riders. It's the fault of the trainers. This is why it's so important to know what you're getting into. Even if you don't know that much about horses, it's important to vet your trainers. And and I'm being totally honest. Most trainers don't know what they're doing. It's like one out of every two trainers is kind of dumb. Hey, bitch, and welcome back to another video of me talking about people I hate, except not really for this video. Today's video, I, I don't know, I just really wanted to be a little bit more positive and upbeat, and this video was recommended to me in my suggested videos on YouTube. Bless the YouTube algorithm. Also, I find these videos to be incredibly educational for most people because not only do these videos help people with their own riding, but it also helps people to stay safe and recognize when they need new trainers, specifically the last part of what I said, because I see all too often, especially with cases like Day by Day um, or Harlow and Popcorn, a lot of YouTubers who ride horses or just people in general who ride horses end up with really bad horse trainers that put them or their horse at risk doing things they're not capable or prepared to do yet. And I think it's important that that gets called out so it prevents injuries to not just these riders but also their horses and it helps them to grow and become better riders and recognize that they need a different trainer. But now that I got that out of the way, completely, totally and utterly unrelated to what I just said, let's react to Faith Kelly or Faith Louisa Kelly. She's super famous. She's got millions of TikTok followers and I think 700,000 Instagram followers. Not that I have a TikTok or an Instagram because, you know, your girl lives under a rock. <laughs> Just a little disclaimer, Faith has her own YouTube channel, which I believe she just recently started posting videos consistently on. And geez, her videos are getting tons of views just right out of the gate. I wanted to make today's video because I really like her. I think she's a really nice person. I also really like her husband and she's a new mom. So that's cool. Yay for being a mom. However, I definitely uh, saw some, you know, not so good things in her latest video, which is I fell off my new horse. Yeah. Now, just a disclaimer, this video is not a hate video. This video, if anything, is just me trying to help out a fellow equestrian and also help any of you guys out who might be in her same situation. Because here's the thing, this is not her fault. She's obviously kind of an inexperienced to intermediate rider, judging by her riding in the videos that I've seen, not just this particular video. But I would be willing to say that she's somewhere between beginner to intermediate. And as somebody who professionally taught riding lessons and jumping lessons, there were just uh, so many red flags in this video that like it, it hurt. Not on her part, but on her trainer's part. So I'm making this video because hopefully she stays safe and maybe, you know, she finds some new trainers. Morning guys, it is 7.20 a.m. and I have a horse riding show today and I'm so nervous because I don't think I've done like ridden in a horse riding show since I was about 19 and I'm turning 24 this year to put it into a little bit of context. We're taking Kelly out for the first time. I feel like I've only ridden her like a, like a handful of times as well. We're just gonna see how it goes. Listen, it's only a bit of fun. It's nothing too serious. I know the um, woman who owns the yard who's doing the show, so it's nothing overly competitive. But yeah, I'm gonna bring you for the day because it's gonna be a little bit of fun. You know, obviously she's not competing seriously. This is just a fun ride, a fun little, you know, backyard show that she's doing at somebody's place. Really, the only reason I'm making a reaction video to this is because she has a lot of followers, so I don't want her followers watching this thinking that this is normal because any responsible trainer would never let someone do this 
what she's about to do in this video. And you're going to see why I'm saying that. It's just a huge liability. But she doesn't know that, and it's honestly not her fault. It just kind of makes me sad to see equestrians not say anything to her, just probably because they're trying to be nice. But girl... Sometimes being that friend that tells you you have spaghetti on your face is the nicest one in the group. Also, I've realized where I've not been to a show again since I was like 19, I also don't have white droppers. I haven't changed my horse riding boots since I was literally 16. They, when you put your foot in them, they are so molded to my old foot shape that it's actually really hard to pull the boot on. But have I just paid more money for new boots? No. Oh well. Hello, horse. I'm going to leave myself. Why? <laughs> I do like her really laxed attitude about everything. I mean, you guys know I don't compete anymore. I'm just usually very chill when I hang out with my horse and we just have a good time. So I appreciate it when I see other people doing the same thing as me. That's cool. Yes, you shouldn't take riding too seriously. You should always have fun with it and enjoy your horse and make sure your horse is healthy and happy and having fun as well as you and not put you or your horse at risk in any way. But also, you know, there comes a point where you do have to have some sort of safety regulations, whether that be your equitation being on point, safety gear, equipment, all of the above. The reason I'm saying that is because I see a lot of riders that are really laid back riders that don't really do anything serious and they tend to cut corners a lot. They don't train their horses properly. Their horses develop bad habits. They don't better their equitation or their riding capabilities, which also creates more problems. You should still care about your equitation. You should still care about your safety gear, your horse's level of training, etc. even when you're a laid back rider who's non-competitive. Because I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? I feel like I'm on my first date. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. I've not taken her out before, it's my first time taking her out. Yeah. First date, love. Horse looks awfully ginger on this camera. Okay. <laughs> so, like, first huge red flag. She doesn't put the saddle on right. The saddle is way too high on the horse's withers, okay? <sighs> This may have just been a one-off mistake. When you couple that with the way that she put her tack on, uh, you should never put your saddle pad and your saddle on at the same time. But yeah, her saddle is way too high up. And honestly, she doesn't fix that throughout the rest of the video. I think that she just either doesn't realize or even worse, doesn't know, and... Excuse me. She'll probably watch this video and laugh, and that's great, and like take a few pointers away from it, but yeah, girl, that saddle's gotta go a few inches farther back. <laughs> Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're right. Okay, so anybody who's been a long time watcher of my channel is gonna immediately know what went wrong. Girl, I'm sorry, you're not ready to be jumping. And this is just me saying that from like a very loving perspective. Okay, because I'm sure she's super nice, but this is a huge problem in the horse industry is a lot of trainers rush kids, especially in jumping, barrel racing. I think those might be the only two when they're not ready. And this is why you see so many kids fall off going around a barrel. So many kids fall off before the jump. So many kids grabbing on the horse's face for balance. So many kids not being able to count their strides properly. All of this is not the fault of the riders. It's the fault of the trainers. This is why it's so important to know what you're getting into. Even if you don't know that much about horses, it's important to vet your trainers. And, and I'm being totally honest. Most trainers don't know what they're doing. It's like one out of every two trainers is kind of dumb. 
And all too often, I see riders that fall off or get seriously injured because trainers let them do things that they're not prepared for or capable of doing yet. My personal opinion, Faith, is that you're not ready to be jumping, you can't count your strides properly yet, and you can't really sit a canter. No offense, I'm not trying to be rude, but it's it's not really there, girl, okay? I'm like, it's not really there. I'm trying to be as nice as possible. But that's exactly why as soon as the horse stopped in front of the jump, she went flying over top. It's because she's not well balanced in the saddle and also because she's relying on the reins a lot for balance, which you're going to see throughout this video. She's also not counting her strides, which is one of the first things that you learn when you start doing pole work, because it's important that you don't set your horse up to fail. That was literally just cross poles and the horse refused it and she she fell off super easily, um, red flag. And the fact that the trainers from here on forward allowed her to continue jumping and even go up to higher jumps, red flag, excuse me, what? There we go. So you see how she falls forward after the jumps and is kind of leaning on the horse's neck? That's because she's not balanced, because she's not even ready to be doing this. She honestly needs to go back down to learning how to trot and canter and building her balance in the saddle with flat work. Because again, what happens is you fall and you get hurt when trainers let you do stuff that you're not prepared to do yet. And people are like, why would trainers do that? Guess what, guys? They do it because they want people to keep paying them money for lessons. Okay, most trainers, if they're responsible people, they won't let you jump or barrel race or whatever you want to do for months. Most people that go to reputable jumping facilities they have to learn all the basics and flat work, et cetera, for six months to a year before their trainers will let them start jumping. But a lot of people don't want to go through that much work and effort. A lot of kids think that flat work is boring. So a lot of kids would rather go to an irresponsible trainer that after two lessons says, oh, okay, cool, we're going to start jumping you now because that trainer doesn't want to lose business and is relying on that income from those lessons. So they're just going to be irresponsible and let you do whatever you want. That's not a good thing. Easy. Do you see how she's bouncing in the saddle? She's not ready. Like she, she can't sit a canter, you guys. If that's not readily apparent, like, I don't know. And I really wish her the best because she seems like such a nice person who genuinely wants to ride and, and be better at riding. And it's not her fault. It legitimately is her trainers. Like there's two trainers there and neither one of them said anything to her or helped her out in any way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it's the distance. She's relying too heavily on the horse for balance and she's not seeing the distances properly. This is one of the reasons why flat work is so important, especially if you're going to do something like jumping. All of those jumps... Oh, they were all just pulling, pulling, pulling on the horse's face. Just pull, 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 keeping it so tight. The horse is so tense and her body is so tense and the jumps are just awkward. <laughs> what is this? Like, these are the most awkward jumps ever. This is literally what it looks like when someone's jumping a horse who's not ready yet. And I get it, it's just a fun thing. But guess what? People die on horseback doing fun things. Literally a girl, what, just two weeks ago died riding her horse in Florida. And she was just doing something fun with her horse. I think it was a cross country competition. And she died. Fun things kill people, you guys, when you're not ready. This is why you need to be 
prepared. She let go of the reins that time. Oh God, it's just like so cringe beyond belief. I cannot believe that nobody told her to stop. Like she's just losing her balance left and right. And the reason she's losing her reins over these jumps is because she's relying on the reins for balance. So when the horse pulls the reins out of her hands, she drops them. Also, the saddle is so high up on the horse's withers. Like, dude, that's probably so uncomfortable for this horse to be jumping with a saddle that high. Yeah, I mean, she's super adorable. I really like her and her husband. Again, don't go give them any hate. I think this video is so great because this is a learning lesson for not just her, but a bunch of other people who might be watching her content. This isn't normal. This is indicative of somebody that doesn't really have the best trainers working with her because any good trainer would tell her that she needs to go back to basics and not just keep increasing the height of the jumps and hope that maybe she'll eventually be able to go over it because this is just a recipe for disaster. And girl, you've got a cute little kid. You want to be around for that kid. Trust me. Anyway, you guys, I hope that you guys got something out of this video. Again, no hate to her. Everybody has problems with their equitation. People are constantly learning. She's probably gonna be a significantly better rider in two and three years from now if she keeps it up. So I hope that she does some significant flat work and improves her equitation. That would be great to see. Don't forget to check out my Patreon and my YouTube members. We post extra horse content over there if you would like to uh, watch those. That link is always down below. But otherwise, I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.